What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? Adam again, back with Atomic Garage, and it is too bright outside to film, so I am inside the junkie car. As you can see right here, and you haven't even seen the back half of the car. But today, guys, we're gonna start working on the engine again, so I'm gonna show you what we got right after the intro. So guys, we got a couple things that we're gonna finally use to get this car running again. And I just can't wait to get this thing back started. So let me show you exactly what I got. To start off, I have a new crank sensor and I am so ready to put this inside of the car. That's the sensor that I know for a fact is not good. So we're gonna replace that. To go along with that, I have a new cam sensor as well. We're gonna put that cam sensor in because I might as well do it while, while I'm all right there, quite honestly. Also, you guys know that I also burnt up the starter. I have a starter that's already under the hood, but I haven't installed it yet. I just checked it to make sure that it fit. We gotta do that as well. All right, guys, so this is the engine bay and how everything sits, which it doesn't look all that great, quite, quite honestly, but we will get it going. So first we have, of course, new starter that's going on we've got the old starter that's under there so we'll be starting on that upper part of the intake as well we're going to set to the side lower part of the intake that i will be taking care of as well a uh, little butterfly valve thing for it as well that's really unneeded we've got our injectors right here and we'll make sure we clean all that up as well i've got these lines and i've got new fuel hoses rubber hoses that's fuel lines that I'm gonna use to kind of make that whole thing a little bit easier because the way it's positioned, it's terrible. It's quite terrible. Also, I need to get some tape so I can go ahead and start marking everything off so I can identify what each one of these uh, connectors are going for. I know one is crank and one is cam, but the last thing that I'd wanna do is have them reversed or have them flipped around and it doesn't work. So just when I was about to get started, literally just put my hand in, I mean, just barely got a little bit of dirt on there. Got a phone call that I need to go ahead and take care of some business. So that's what I gotta do. So I'm gonna stop from not even starting and hopefully we can pick this up tomorrow. Hopefully. Anyway, see you then. What? Tomorrow. All right, I am back. My peeps, my homies, my compadres, my compadres. So yesterday I had to do some stuff and I had enough time to go back out here and start working again. But two things happened. One, it was hot. I didn't feel like it. Two, I didn't feel like it. And I had Forza 7 and I've been playing that game nonstop. If you guys play that, drop your gamer tag down for Xbox. Anyway, that's a whole nother subject. You like my pretend glasses? It makes me feel a, a tad bit educated and smart. But anyway, we're going to jump back on the BMW. Try and get this thing going. Got my little Bluetooth speaker so I can listen to some tunes while I work. So we're going to go ahead and actually try to get some work done. Let's go. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright guys, so we are back and I've been working on it off the camera because I kind of got a little tired of trying to film and trying to get stuff done. So let me show you exactly what we got going. So we put a new crank sensor in right here and a new cam sensor in, which is that one right, I don't know if you can see it, right down there. And that bottom crank sensor was the worst because I had to literally 
beat it out. I mean, it it's ridiculous how long it took me to get this sensor out. And there was no O-ring or anything that was holding it in. It was just old, and I had to fight it out. So I got a little bit done. And now the next things that I need to do is put this new starter on down in there. I will also be cutting this box open, getting rid of this box here because this is completely unneeded because it takes up unneeded space. And I plan on routing all the lines under the intake altogether. And it'll make it a whole lot easier and a whole lot cleaner. So I was making this video to be more of a usual video, but this is going to be a more of an update on what we got going on. It's raining, it's about to rain rather. I got little sprinkles here and there. And we're supposed to have a hurricane coming again, supposedly. So I don't know how much I will be doing with the project. But regardless guys, whenever it's not raining, I'm gonna do my best to stay on top of this car and try to hammer away at it, get things done. As you see, I got it up on the ramps and we're plugging away on it slowly but surely. But weather hinders me and also playing video games that kind of hinders me as well so my next video I'm gonna try and make this but if not uh, in the comment section below I was thinking about doing a Q&A if you guys have any questions or if you just want to tell me what you're working on if you're working on any projects or anything like that please in the comment section below tell me about it or shoot me an email at team atomic garage and maybe I could do a video about that maybe talking about you guys cars and your projects and things like that I think that'll be pretty cool but anyway I'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs> P.S. guys, I forgot to mention, I'm also thinking about doing something called a subscriber showcase, which at the end of each video, I would select five people that submitted their cars. I would show it at the end of each of my videos. If you guys are interested in doing any one of, of any one, nah, any one of those things, please email me at teamatomicgarage at gmail.com and you could be featured on the end of each video. It doesn't matter what the car is, just make sure it's a halfway decent picture and make sure you submit your name, whether it's your YouTube name or whatever it is, submit it to me and I can show it off. It doesn't have to be your car, it could be your parents, your mother, your grandmother, whoever's car, show it and I'll put it in the end of each video. So, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.